How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. Now on today's show we're going to take a look at the back pages and of course what is going on in the world of football. Last piece of news involves Arsenal because Ajax goalkeeper Andre Onana has had his 12 month ban reduced to 9. I represent my fucking self. How we doing guys? Welcome to DT's Daily. That's right. So, of course, the first place we're going to start at the back pages and what is going on and, you know, transfer windows opens. Everything's starting to pick up. Can transfers get done before international matches, etc, etc. Um, we're going to start off with the Daily Telegraph and they go with the first headline of Everton are considering a shock move for former Liverpool manager Rafa Benitez. I think that'd be a good one for Everton, to be honest with you. But would Rafa Benitez... Go over to the blue side of Merseyside. It's an interesting one. Um, Gareth Southgate is considering playing Luke Short at centre-back against Croatia this weekend in a move that could see England start the European Championship campaign with four full-backs in the team. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> England have been preparing for their next major tournament penalty shootout uh, for the past three years with assistant manager Steve Holland keeping a league table of the country's takers. Ah, I don't know what it is, but England and penalties. You can practice for as many years as you want, but when it comes to that situation, that moment, that pressure, it's a different level. And can you imagine if we ended up getting to a penalty shootout and having to face the likes of Germany? It's all up here. That's the madness. Um, England fans will stop booing players for taking the knee once they understand it is about equality and not political gesture, the head of football association proclaimed on Wednesday. Should have known that anyway. We all know that. Seriously. Um, Inter Milan are under pressure to agree a deal to sell right back um, Hakimi, who is amongst Chelsea targets by the end of the month to ease their financial crisis. What a player he is. I would love him at Arsenal. But you've got no chance. Um, Daily Mirror. Um, Arsenal have joined Liverpool, Manchester United and Tottenham in the race to sign Brighton's 50 million rated defender Ben White. Good defender. 50 million pound. No. Um, Frank Lampard is back in the frame for the Crystal Palace job. I think that'd be a good job for him to be fair. Um, Arsenal owner Stan Kroenke will reject any new offer from Spotify tycoon Daniel Ek. Hmm. Rio Ferdinand is fully expecting Manchester United and Manchester City stars to be tapping up their club's prime targets whilst away on England duty. Part and parcel of football. Um... Yeah, we're going to go with the Daily Mail. Tottenham have prioritised the signing of Borussia Mönchengladbach striker uh, Marcus Turan with negotiations at an advanced stage, according to reports. It's an interesting one. Um, could that be something to do with a new manager that, you know, looks imminent? Um, Norwich City are in talks with Southampton to re-sign Angus Gunn, son of club legend Brian. Um, Leeds are interested in Fulham midfielder Harrison Reed ahead of next season. Um, Liverpool's defensive duo Virgil van Dijk and Joe Gomez have stepped up their recovery from knee injury and filmed themselves working out in Portugal on Wednesday. Um, and I think they will be both back um, next season and Virgil van Dijk is going to be massive uh, for Liverpool. And when you think that he's got himself a new partner there now, that's going to be on paper. One hell of a defensive unit. Um, Crystal Palace want their managerial vacancy filled as a matter of urgency and Steve Cooper and Sean Dyche are amongst the other managers the club are interested in. See, again, different papers, different you know names being mentioned, etc. Um, Spain squad will be vaccinated by the army ahead of their Euro 2020 opener with Sweden after Sergio Busquets and Diego Llorente tested positive for COVID-19. Oh no, not all that again. Come on, man. Ah. Daily Star. Um, Emmy Martinez has insisted that he is doing a lot better after help from doctors after he suffered from a loss of consciousness during Argentina's World Cup qualifier against Colombia on Wednesday. 
Um, it's good news that he's doing better um, and we wish him well. Um, West Ham are set to step up their pursuit of Jesse Lingard following his Euro 2020 heartbreak with England. Be interesting to see whether Manchester United cash in. And uh, you've got to say that West Ham have got the um, upper hand because he was there on loan and he clearly, clearly enjoyed himself. So, yeah, interesting. Um, last bit here with the Guardian. Um, the International Olympic Committee has offered a source as many doctors and nurses are needed uh, from around the globe to ensure the Tokyo Olympics is safe and to help Japan fight a fourth wave of COVID infections. Um, yeah, look, listen, the sooner we can get on with our lives, the better. Um, and, you know, every part of the world is different in terms of where they are with COVID and, you know... England at the moment, it's not looking too bad and uh, we're starting to slowly get back to normal and it's feeling a bit more like normal. So that's a good thing, that's for sure. Um, last piece of news involves Arsenal uh, because Ajax uh, goalkeeper Andre Anana um, has had his doping ban reduced uh, from 12 months to nine. Um he, of course, took his appeal a few days ago uh, to the Court of Arbitration for Sport. Um, and he will now be able to play again in November. Um, he was banned initially for a year in February um, after testing positive um, for a banned substance. Now, he has always maintained that he accidentally took the medicine that was prescribed for his wife um, and launched an appeal to CAS. Uh, which was heard last week. Um, the verdict has now been announced and um, they have reduced the ban from 12 to 9. Um, due to the terms of his suspension, um, he has been unable to train with Ajax since February and has been working on his fitness with a personal trainer on local pitches in Amsterdam. Um, he will be allowed to start competitive training again two months before the end of his ban, so the appeal verdict means that he will be able to start training uh, with his team again from September the 3rd. Um, that significantly raises the prospect of a summer transfer as he will be available for selection from November the 3rd onwards. Um, I think this is one that Arsenal could well get done. And um, given the fact that his band's been reduced, he can start training with the team in September, which is just after the start of the season, can be eligible to play from November. Yeah, it makes sense for me. And uh, when you're looking at the figure, it might go up a little bit because obviously we had the um, you know, time reduced by three months. But uh, from what everyone's saying, um, they're looking at around about £7 million. For me, that is an absolute steal. Honestly, he is a seriously, seriously good goalkeeper. Um, so, yeah, I'm so, you know, sure we'll find out in the next few days or so or coming weeks as to what happens and whether we can get this deal done. So there we go. That is it for today's DT's Daily. As usual, let me know in the comment section what you think about today's topics. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button, smash the like on this video, and I will see you a lot soon. I'm out of here.